dietary cholesterol, as in the cholesterol in your food, like egg yolks and oysters, is a totally different matter from cholesterol in the blood, like what they measure in lab tests. Diane will talk more about this. Just remember that the cholesterol that you eat does not just get dumped into your blood. In fact, the cholesterol in your blood is actually made independently by your liver. Now, this is hugely important. Lowered blood cholesterol in humans has not been proven to cause a lower incidence of heart attack. And lowered saturated fat consumption, where the saturated fats are replaced with fats like so-called low saturated fat vegetable oil, which incidentally is not made from vegetables, but grains like corn and soy and seeds like canola, has also not been shown to prevent heart attacks whatsoever. It may even be connected with an increased risk of cancer. We've been sold these ideas about saturated fat and cholesterol, like they're just these simple swaps, eat less or none of both and replace with X, Y, or Z that comes in a box or a bag or a capsule but it's just not that easily explained. In fact, it's a very tangled web that we are attempting to untangle here. So let's put that discussion of cholesterol on hold for just a second to see where the next element of mass dietary hysteria comes in, and that is the element of fat, specifically, where our belief that fat is bad came from in the first place. And it really originated with a guy named Ansel Keys. 